Hey everyone, we're here at the SAP TechEd event and I have with me... Benjamin Wesson from SAP. Benjamin, what do you do for SAP? I am the product owner for Internet of Things Solutions. Can you tell me a little bit about what you think as the Internet of Things is? Sure, we've gone through several evolutions of the Internet. The first evolution was about access to data and it was about connecting people to data. Second evolution was about connecting people to other people via social networking sites like Twitter or Facebook. This is about connecting people to machines, to the world around us. Okay, and you've got a demo for us? What's, what, what's the demo about? I do, I have a demo that shows a wind turbine operator and what their operations might look like being managed remotely from an iPad. Awesome, can you give us a look at it? Let's do take a look. What you're looking at is an application to be used by a wind turbine operator. This is somebody who's responsible for one or many wind turbines. And wind turbines are kind of the ultimate Internet of Things use cases. Uh, these turbines are incredibly sophisticated and are constantly changing the way that they react with the environment and with each other based on variable conditions. As an operator, I can be anywhere in the world and now have access to data all my wind turbines. I can look at uh, weather patterns. Weather is the biggest enemy of wind turbines and much of the uh, control of turbines has to do with gusty wind conditions. And I can look at alerts coming from all these turbines. I can see I have two alerts there and I can scroll through all the alerts that I have uh, within my sphere of operation. I can even go to technicians on the map that are in proximity to respond to some of those alerts. But these wind turbine farms are getting built offshore. They're getting built offshore because that's where we uh, can do so without generating a lot of noise and other problems. And getting there is expensive. So I can get there virtually by moving this iPad around, assuming we had a great internet connection. You can see a helicopter pad there. And here we have a wind turbine with uh, an alert. I will drill down on that alert and get information about that particular turbine. And this is what you need to pay attention to as an operator. You can see I'm looking at the output and I'm also looking at the wear and tear that's going on with these machines. I can see I have a blade malfunction um, and that's largely the result of a damaged coupler. So I can look at that coupling by going into the visual enterprise tool um, that will allow me to virtually manipulate this turbine and actually visualize what it is that's damaged. And you can see here I've uh, shown a problem there in red. I can navigate to it using this tree view. I can uh, go to any one of these other uh, views. For example, this one that's looking up inside the turbine. And that gives you a sense of how big these guys really are. Let's go back to this view and look at the part that needs service. You can see here is the fault being generated. And I can look at the details by pressing this button. So what this is showing is for the turbine, what's happened in the past, and what is potentially going to happen next. And that's really where the power of HANA comes in, because what we want to know, if we start seeing a problem, in this case, with the main coupling, is when that's going to reach a critical state that would prevent the machine from operating uh, correctly. So I can resolve this, and I can even play around as an operator with what various resolutions might do to the turbine over time. For example, I can change the blade angle, which means the turbine is effectively stalling or spinning at a slower speed, thereby reducing the friction. And I can confirm um, that. I can even assign it to one of those technicians we saw earlier and save the record. And what, I can, what I'm doing behind the scenes is I've generated a trouble ticket, I've generated a purchase order for a spare coupling, and it's going to be drop shipped to the location of that helicopter pad with the technician arriving at the same time to fix this problem. And that's just one problem in my dashboard of things, I can see all of the events, all of the work that the, tur that the turbine operators, the technicians are having to perform in this Gantt chart. And that helps me manage this wind farm from anywhere in the world. And it's an example of what we can do with the Internet of Things. Benjamin, that was great. Thanks very much. Thank you.